not a quantity I can increase. This is not a quantity I can go uh, back out and get. So it's not just the fact that it's the rarest mercury dime ever made. It's not just the fact that it's made in 24 karat gold. But keep in mind, it's also certified perfect. That is extraordinarily difficult in solid 24 karat gold because gold is one of the softest and most malleable of all the metals. And so because of that, to get this coin in absolutely perfect, and they did it in a special satin finish that you can see right here, it's SP70, 100th anniversary, first strike, uh, uh, first strike PCGS, perfect. So when you look at this, it's one of the first times that I've been able to offer you, in essence, the PCGS. And like I said, these are going very, very quickly. As a matter of fact, if I account for all the folks on the phone, I don't know if you even have that two and a half minutes, but they could be buying other things. <clears throat> they still could be buying those peace dollars. I think we just sold about a thousand of those peace dollars. Is uh, well, not quite, because I didn't have a thousand. I better not have sold a thousand. <laughs> I had yeah. about seven hundred, about seven hundred fifty total. I think. I think those are just about gone. But people are continuing to uh, uh, to call in on these. Like I said, I only had a very limited number. Like I said, get ready to check for those. And they are going extremely, extremely quickly. So this is one of those coins. Like I said, 30 of these gone already. 30 of these gone already. With everybody on the phone, I don't think I have enough. So let me reiterate as we have the last two minutes here. We're going back 100 years now. 100 years ago, the United States Congress misinterpreted one of their own laws. Imagine that. They thought they had to end the Barber coin series. And so because of that, they started the Mercury Dime, the Standing Liberty Quarter, the Walking Liberty Half Dollar, considered to be three of the most beautiful coins ever made by the government. Hundred years later, they decide last year to commemorate these in solid gold. This is the result. This is the result of that. And so this is a solid gold United States mint issue. So what they did is, since this is actually a mercury dime, is you now have the rare. So if you've been collecting mercury dimes your whole life, and you finally got that 1916D in mint state 67 and paid, what, $87,000 for it or whatever it is, okay, now your collection's not complete. You still got to have this one because this is actually the rarest. This is even rarer than the 1916Ds. Like I said, I had 150 of these. We have uh, almost 50 gone. I have 47 gone right now. Every single phone line gone, okay, is, is what the problem is. Like I said, 47 sold. I've got, a, that leaves me about 100, 48 sold. I have about 100 left. I have twice that many people on the phone, but I know you're still buying the peace dollars. Okay, I know you're still buying the peace dollars. So I'm gonna give you that last minute. I don't know if you're not on the phone right now. I can't guarantee that you're gonna be able to get one of these coins. So here's what you end up with. The rarest mercury dime ever made, actually the rarest dime in the last 100 years ever made by the United States government. Mercury dime, Roosevelt dime, it doesn't matter, any dime, kind of dime you want to know. This is the rarest dime in the last 100 years. The only dime ever done in solid 24 karat gold. In first strike, 100th anniversary, certified perfect 70 PCGS as a one-time opportunity, a one-time thing sitting that, that we can give you because I only had 150 of these and now I have far less than 100. Oh, yeah. 55 of them gone. And with everybody between this and hsn.com, I have almost 300 people on the phone, but they're still buying the peace dollars. Keep me on that. So like I said, just an absolutely beautiful, and it's not the number one question I get, is it plated or is it layered? No, this is solid 24 karat gold, the only 24 karat gold dime ever done by the United States government. It is stunning, it's solid gold, it's affordable, it's rare, it's everything Ooh. that you want to we want in terms of collectability. Folks, I've only got about six dozen remaining and those are going extraordinarily quickly. And on that note, we're gonna keep you posted. Keep shopping, keep calling on this one, 544409. Thank you for your orders. And the 1922, as we predicted, has completely sold out. So congratulations to you, and thank you for your orders. And please ask about the 1923 mm -hmm. on, the, on the piece Check of this out. I have the first decade of United States Estimate Silver Proof Sets. When I show you that, the 1999 by itself, coin by coin, will just about get you to $699. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Pat, our producer's like, yeah, that's right, I know I that, know, I know that. I know, I, I can't listen to Pat, he makes me spend all of my money mm -hmm. on the coins. <laughs> I've only got about 100 of those to go around, by the way. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Please ask about that uh, early, um, and thank you so much for being here. We, oh, this is a good part of the show. I love, love these. these, yeah. So imagine that you'd have to pick one. The truth is, is that we're gonna 
offer to you an entire half a century of the proof set. So you literally are going to get everything that you see here. Um, we take our time throughout this presentation. There's a lot to explain to you, um, but this is an opportunity for you to be able to buy, like you always say, just like a coin dealer. Buy like a coin yeah. dealer. This is the dirty little secret of coin dealers. And people, I, and I've, I've said that before, and they say, what do you mean by that? I go, well, you have to understand, you can buy proof sets, and a proof set, the, the United States government started making proof sets in 1936. These are these special sets. Remember we had these unopened sets that yeah, we sold, yeah, sold yeah, hundreds and right. hundreds of those, almost sold all those out, the proof sets. And from 1936 until 1964, they made them at the Philadelphia Mint. Then starting in 1968, right over there, they made them at the San Francisco Mint, and they've made them ever since. These are not coins that are intended for circulation. These are coins that are only available in these sets. Since 1968, the only way to get most San Francisco minted coins is out of one of these proof sets. So while you would say, okay, well, the coolest thing and easiest thing to do is buy the sets. And, and, and that's what a lot of people do. But coin dealers don't really like that. And the reason is, is there's people who collect Lincoln Sands and uh, Jefferson Nichols and Mercury Dime, or, and, and Roosevelt Dimes and Kennedy Half Dollars and Eisenhower Dollars and Susan B. Anthony Dollars and State Quarters, and they collect all those things. And so it's far easier to break these sets open and sell the coins individually. And the reason it's easier to do that is it's about three times as much money if you do that, okay? So with just a hammer and a towel, you can triple your money, okay? <laughs> so <clears throat> that's why you so rarely see all of the sets together at one time. Now, uh, if we get what you get every single one of these, so it's important for you to see, you get from 1960 to 2009. Every single one of the sets, you get 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64 in original United States government issue proof sets, okay? <clears throat> then they, they move the proof making capacity of the U.S. Mint from the Philadelphia Mint to the San Francisco Mint. Typical government fashion, took three years. <laughs> took three years. Now, they didn't make proof sets, but they made things called special mint sets. And we've included those special mint sets in here. A lot of people don't and say, well, they're not proof sets, when the real reason is, is they're just as expensive and desirable as proof sets. That's why they don't want to include them. We do. Coin by coin, that's almost 100 bucks for those three coin sets right there. <clears throat> and then in 1968, they start making the proof sets in San Francisco. And so we have all the first, uh, what is that, about the first 40 years or so of the San Francisco Mint proof sets. So you get the first, uh, you know, you get the first 44 years, 46 years of Kennedy half dollars. You get the last four years of Franklin half dollars. You get all of the proof Eisenhowers that ever came in, in proof sets. You get all the proof Susan B. Anthony's. You get all the proof state quarters. Um, Okay, you get the first uh, uh, three years of the presidential dollars in proof. You get the special 100th anniversary Lincoln set in presidential uh, in proof. I got to go over here because people are saying, so, so you say we're buying like a coin dealer. I said, yeah, you're buying like a coin dealer. Okay. And, and they go, what do you mean by that? Now, first of all, let me talk about the sets. Remember, you get all 50 sets. By the way, the boxes, we just stacked up the boxes. The, the, these are the, the exterior packaging. Look at the box stack of boxes that come with that as well. They all come with the original government packaging and everything as well. Neat. I do have to mention this is the last time we have this at Price Break. So, here's, here's what happens with this. If you buy a proof set from the United States government today, right now, I don't think you buy the 2017s yet, but you buy the 2016s still, till they release the 2017s. I think with shipping and handling, it costs you $50 okay. for the brand new set. So 2016, 2015, 16, 17, 14, they're all, all $50 a piece. If you go back to 2012, just three years after this, I think we have them on HSN to come, they're about $300 for the 2012. So 50 bucks is the original issue price. I'm giving you 50 sets, not for $2,500, not for $50 a set, but for less than $20 a set, okay? For less than $20 a set. So, less than $20 a set, and how many coins do we have there? Wrong card. Uh, I, I think it's, <laughs> it's 300 plus. 331, is that right? Something like that. Stand by! Something like that. That's, that's about right there. It's, it's a little over three. Let's put it this way. Three bucks 331. a coin. 331. 331. There, there we you go. go. So about three bucks a coin. So you're almost exactly three dollars a coin. And here's why you get to buy it like a coin dealer, folks. Now here's part of the problem, okay? And why you don't want to get too crazed uh, about waiting. I know it's a lot of stuff. You get 30-day money-back guarantee. You get all that stuff, right? Well, you're paying about three dollars a coin. 
So if we go here to these little green Kennedy half dollars here, start 94, 95, 96, 97, 98. Those five coins right there. So you'd pay, at $3 a coin, you pay $15 for those uh, Kennedy half dollars. Okay, the 95 uh, Kennedy proof, in, in the uh, nationally advertised cut, forty-six and a half dollars, thirty-seven dollars, uh, thirty-seven dollars, forty-six dollars, uh, ninety-six, thirty-six dollars, uh, forty-six, thirty-nine fifty. Now this one's thirty-nine fifty and forty-six fifty. So you're about two hundred bucks for those five Kennedys instead of fifteen. Right. So now you understand what I mean. Buying like a coiner, because if you add this all up, coin by coin, you're the better part of three thousand dollars. $3,000, and here's, here's the best way for me to, to, to do that. if you wanna hold that for me just for a second. Here's the 2009 set, this is one of my favorite sets, okay? That's the 2009 set you're paying $15 for, okay? You're paying $15 for that. Now, this is the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cents, okay? This is the 100th anniversary of the Lincoln cent, right here, done in special copper, only in this proof set for proof. Thirteen and a half dollars a coin. Thirteen and a half dollars a coin. That's fifty-two, fifty-four dollars. Remember, you pay twenty. Fifty-four dollars. Here's all. Let's do these next. Those are the territorial quarters made by the United States government. Okay. See those? Those are eleven dollars and fifty cents a piece. There's six of those. That's seventy dollars. Okay. So we're, we're now one hundred and twenty-five bucks. Okay. We're one hundred twenty-five dollars. All right. Now. These are the presidential dollars in proof. Remember, these are not the ones issued and released. They're, they're only $8 a piece, another $32 for $150. Bucks. Okay? The Sacagawea Golden Dollar is uh, $16.95. This one is $17.95. Basically, coin by coin, it's $200. Bucks. It's t you pay $20. Okay, but if I get to break this open, if you get to buy like the coin dealer, you get coin by coin yes. $200 instead of $20. Bucks. That's the last year of issue. So there's 200 right there. So let's take a look at the 2008s. This is one of my favorite sets. So you get these right here. Presidential dollars, once again, 7.95 a piece, 32 bucks. Okay, and then the 2008, this Sacagawea Golden Dollar is 36.50. This coin right here is 27.50. We're almost $65 right here. So 65, that's about 100. Now you have the last year of issue of the state quarters. 1795, 1795, 1795, 1795, and 45 bucks. Okay? So seven, 18 bucks times four is 72, and that, that's 120. That's another $200. So now the 2008 and 2009 coin by coin, 400 bucks. So those are the last two. Right. So let's go up here. The Canada, remember, the Franklin half dollars are 56 and a half dollars a piece for all the silver ones. The, Kennedy, the, the Washington Quarter's at $39.95, and the Roosevelt Dimes, since they're proof, since they're proof and silver, okay, that you see up there, they're uh, $17.95. Basically, coin by coin, $100 a set. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 900. Basically, if you take the seven sets on the outside, you're at near $999.95. We insist that you take the other 43 <laughs> sets. Well, you get this by this, by the way, at this point, I only have 150 of these sets. Every single phone line is gone. Uh, can we do just a quick 10 minutes on this? Is, uh, because I have to give you, and here's what happens. I got to give you a warning. Because I know you get caught up in seeing everything that you get here. And I know it's a lot of stuff to digest. It's a lot of information. But here's what's happening. These will sell out. I'm almost 100% certain of that. Particularly at the $200 price break, this is the last presentation at price break, where you get them for less than $20 a set, okay? <clears throat> There's a lot of stuff. So people kind of wait till the end of the presentation, and then they pile in and start buying these, and we get caught short. If you look at the, 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 the uh, state quarters that you see here, the last 11 sets here are just the, the 50 state quarters and the six territorial quarters. I sell those in a Red Oak presentation box for $449 oh my. for just these quarters. And all I've done is taken them out of here and put them in a nice Red Oak presentation box. It's a customer pick. It's a great opportunity. We sell the last 40 years of proof Kennedys. And coin by coin, the Kennedys are over $700.
just for the Kennedy half dollars. Now, remember, so you add seven hundred and eleven dollars and forty-five cents actually for the for the for the Kennedys. But then you have to in the, add in the three special mint set Kennedys, which is which aren't in there. It's another sixty bucks, so we're seven seventy. And then you have to add in all the Franklins. You get four of those at fifty-six bucks, so that's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. So now you're a thousand dollars for the half dollars. What are we charging for the whole thing? None. Buying like a coin dealer. Because you get all day. 50 sets. That's yep. right. You get all 50 sets plus all the original boxes that are down here. And people are going, okay, yeah. But how about, uh, let's look at the lowest, you're paying $3 a coin, but how about the lowest common denominator? Which would be the Lincoln cent. Which coin by coin are $212. So the Lincoln cents, coin by coin, are four bucks a coin. <laughs> okay? Now add in all the Eisenhower dollars. These are the proof. Remember, these are not the ones yeah. that were released. These are not the ones you have in your dresser drawer or mom or dad has in their dresser drawer or any of that other stuff. They are the proof coins, including two of the bicentennials. These little Eisenhowers right here are $160, over $20 a coin, not just $3 a coin. How about all the Susan B. Anthony's there at $332.20 or $32 for the three Susan B. Anthony's? I mean, these little presidential dollars down here, these last 12 presidential dollars are $115. $115 for the 12 presidential dollars that you're going to have here. One of my favorites is the Sacagawea Golden Dollar. And I sell the first 10 years of Sacagaweas all the time, which is what these are. And we sell them all day long here. I sell hundreds, if not that, because I do that. And we break these open and sell the coins individually. The Sacagaweas are 250 bucks. So, like I said, you can buy these, the original sets, brand new from the United States government at $50 a set. Or you can buy 50 sold out limited editions, everything you see up here, for less than $20 a set. It is one of the single most popular items we have ever sold here at HSN. I have probably sold over the years, many times for significantly more money than this, I have sold tens of hundreds of thousands of United States government issue proof sets. I have actually also opened up hundreds of thousands of United States government issue proof sets. I mean, I think that's the, that's the important part of this. It's where the Kennedy half dollars in this set and the Franklin half dollars are proof. Because I, I want to do one thing real quick. If I get, where's my scissors? I got to go over there and get my scissors real quick. Okay, I'm because I want to show you what I mean by proof. Because proof is not a condition, but a method of manufacturing, okay? It's not a condition, but a method of manufacturing. Proof coins are made differently. They're struck multiple times at higher, uh, at higher pressures. By the way, folks, we're about, I'm under 10 dozen of these guys right now. I'm under 10 dozen of these. So I have here a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. I have 100, there you go, 10 dozen exactly. 10 dozen exactly. This is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar. Proof. Sealed, been that way for over 50 years. I'm going to I'm going to do this like a coin dealer does. Oh it. my. I'm going to cuz I can sell this coin for $56.50 instead of the 20 bucks I'm basically charging you. I'm going to hold on to those sure. just for a second. Cuz what I want to show you is what a proof Kennedy half dollar looks like. Yes. Look at that. And that's what every single coin Beautiful. in every single one of these sets looks like, folks. Look at that. It looks, it's ethereal looking. They're struck multiple times at higher pressures. And look at these coins. My goodness. It is abs that is a first yes. year of issue. The only year they did the Kennedy half dollar in solid 900 fine. Now here's the problem, I had 154 sets. And it happens exactly like I told you it did. Everybody gets enthralled by, by listening. Look, it's a lot of stuff, I get it. That's why you get a 30 day money back guarantee. I mean, you want to, you, 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 you go, okay, that's a lot of things, that's a lot of coins. Well, here's the problem, I've already sold 50. I have about 200 people on the phone. Like I said, they still might be buying the peace dollars and everything else. No, I think these are all going to go the, tonight. Oh, these are gonna sell out. Yep. Because like I said, once again, it's the last presentation that I have at price break, $200 off. So not only that, but you save $4 a set. I mean, like $24 a set in a great buy, $20 a set is a better buy. 
Like I said, you're buying like a coin dealer. So coin by coin, you're looking at closer to $3,000, not $1,000. And like I said, if you go to hsn.com, litter it all over. There's the last 50 years of proof uh, Lincolns, the last 50 years of, of uh, Roosevelt Dimes or, uh, uh, or Jefferson Nichols, and that's $199 and $199 and $199 and then the quarters for $449 and, and the uh, Kennedy half dollars for whatever the price. And so that's what happens, okay? Uh, Pat, I think it would behoove us if we could show them how many of these are left for them to get in about and the Pat last Pat is our minute. producer of the show. Yeah, because like I said, we, the... we had 154 of these. 93. 93. And, yeah. and I've got way more than that right. on the phone. So, so let me, let me kind of reiterate here for the last three and a half minutes. So here's what's happening. Is these are all original. And the best way to put that is let me grab uh, this set right here. 1995. United States, there it is, United States government issue proof set. There's the seal of the mint right there. That's the United States seal, also known as the presidential seal, but the seal of the mint, which is done. Only the Kennedy half dollar actually has the mint and presidential seal on it. Right there, packaged by the United States mint, right up there at the top, packaged by the United States mint. These are 100% original, just as this was released from the mint in 1995. Now, if you look at this coin, so this is $20 for this set, basically, you know, $3 a coin. Some of the coins have more sets. That's why it's $3 instead of 15. This coin is $46.50. This coin's like $17.50, $12.95. I think the penny's $13.50 in the 1995. Coin by coin, this set's almost 100 bucks. These five coins are almost 100 bucks coin by coin. But once again, you pay 20 because you're buying like a coin dealer. You yeah. buy the original yeah. sets, every single one of them. And if I can show you one last time all the boxes, okay? This is important. So, like, here's the 1997 box. United States Mint. They don't all come in boxes. That's Everything from say, 1968 on comes in boxes. Isn't that interesting? All the ones before that come in these sleeves, come in those envelopes. But after that, they all have boxes. And they don't start having uh, certificates, I think, until 1992. Oh, wow. Certificates of authenticity. So in here is also the Mint Certificate of Authenticity. Those are all included. This is all originally hand-selected. So here's what happens, and, and here's the hard part of this, and why very few people sell this this package or anything even vaguely like that. I know I can do that eventually. And well, here's here's what the happens. Packaging is even nice. <clears throat> because it's not like I call the 50 year of proof set guy and say, hey, send me 150 of these. What I do is we have a network of literally thousands of smaller dealers. And we say we're buying proof sets. So what happens is, is I buy 50 of these and 75 of these and 87 of these and 92 of these and 143 of these. Right. And then we go through them and of the 142 I return 18 because the boxes aren't there right. or the certificates aren't there or the coins are tarnished or the, or the sets are cracked or whatever it is. And then we return all of those. And what we end up with after literally, you ought to see our, our, our receiving, I mean, just stacks of boxes that we have to go through every, so when I sell 150 of these, that's 7,500 proof sets. That's 7,500, of that's, which I probably went through about 10 to 12,000 rejecting yeah. all of the other ones, okay? To get the coin so that they are original hand selected. Look at this box, I wanna show you this box. This is a cardboard box, folks, from 1971. It has a little crease right here, but it's in good shape. Yeah, for sure. For a piece of cardboard <laughs> that's almost 50 years old, okay? <laughs> so you can see we individually hand select the boxes as well. This is a spectacular opportunity. So I've got, so we've got about a minute left. Yeah. I've got about 200 and yeah, something say. people on the phone. I got 69, 67 sets left. These are gonna go boom, boom, 67, 65. Here's what happens. I come down to the end of this and people go, yeah, I want that. Please do not wait any longer. Remember, all 50 years with the boxes, coin by coin, set by set, less than $20. Coin by coin, about $3. Coin by coin, if you purchase them individually, about $3,000. Buy it like a coin dealer, folks. There are 331 coins that you're getting. Exactly. Right. And they're proof coins. Yep. Remember, no, not a single solitary one of these coins was ever made, intended, or released into circulation. They're available one place and one place only in these sets. Remember, I sell the state quarters for $449. This set, $200. This set, coin by coin, $200. 400, 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, right there. I can pick you out eight sets. I pick out eight sets of here that get to $999 just like that.
Well, enjoy. Folks, buy it like, like I said, buy yeah. it like a coin dealer. So we will be announcing that these are sold out in just moments. Mm -hmm. Continue to shop. Don't forget we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. But we are going to be taking a break. We've got a silver proof set that's going to be coming up. But more to find out how to download the HSN app to your mobile devices. Check this out. The HSN mobile app is convenient and easy to use for all of your HSN shopping needs. On the app, it's so easy to find the item you want and place your order within seconds. Read the product descriptions and reviews before you purchase, or watch a live feed of HSN and purchase the airing item and other items that have recently aired. Just go to hsn.com and search app to download now. It's HSN's President's Day Sale. Enjoy four days of special pricing on some of your favorite brands, like Samsung, Bissell, and Joy Mangano. Don't miss other exclusive offers, like four or more flex pay on everything all weekend long. Free shipping on all electronics. Free shipping on all Simmons Beauty Rest mattresses. Plus daily flash sales, 50% off or more. Check back each day on hsn.com. HSN's President's Day Sale, now through Monday, only on HSN. The appraised values you see at HSN are set by independent, professionally certified appraisers. They determine, as closely as possible, the approximate retail cost of replacing or recreating the item, not the possible sell or purchase price. Because subjective estimates and judgments are involved, appraisals may vary by as much as 25%. Call your customer service rep for more information. to learn a little bit about some of the facts. Thank you so much for being here at HSN. Um, we want to quickly give you the item number once again for our half century of our proof sets. That's all that's left. Uh, Out of 154, 42 remaining. Right. Half century proofs that's last it. time at price break. Absolutely. So 128929. We will keep you updated and posted on that as we continue. 39 now. Those are going to I know. I know. So don't miss that one. Now this is something I don't know if we could check. I don't think I've aired this in forever. Uh, it's it's one of the, the most difficult, hardest sets to get that that that's it's just crazy. So here's what we have. The first decade of the United States government stopped making silver coins. Okay, stopped making silver coins in 1964. As a special thing, because people liked them, in 1992, for whatever reason, they started making the proof sets only, again, with the dime, the quarter, and the half dollar in silver. So all the, all these are 10 silver Kennedy half dollars. 10 silver Kennedy half dollars, okay? And then uh, 10 silver Washington quarters, 10 silver Roosevelt dimes. And then, uh, and then the quarters here, it's not 10 quarters because you're going to have 18 quarters because the uh, 99, two, actually it's more than that, the 99, 2000, 2001 are all five quarter sets. So we have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 silver quarters. All of this for 600, so it's $69 a set. Now here's what I want to do. Because this is, this is an important thing. I've already sold a couple of these. These are the people in the know. They know what's going on. I've only got about 100 of these to go around. And I've done a special $50 price break on this. Uh, even more importantly is the shipping and handling, five bucks for 10 cents. All with the original government packaging. See, and they're a little different. It says silver proof set. So what I want to do, I want to go to the Kennedy half dollars here. And I just want to sh uh, give you the pricing of the Kennedy half dollars because they're silver. So if we can try to add this up as we go. The 92 is $48.50. The 93 is $65. The 94 is $65. The 95, are you ready for this? The 1995 silver is $125. 
The 1996 silver is $75. The 1997 silver is $95, okay? The 1990, so you, you get where I'm coming from here. The 1998 silver is $75. The 1999 silver is $85. Oh, we're way over the $699. we are way over the $699. <laughs> yeah. The 2000 silver, they don't even list the 2000 silver. The 2001 silver is 56. That's the lowest price, so I'll give it a 56. So just for the Kennedys in here, you're about 750. Okay? You're about 750. You're about my $750 right there. But here's the amazing part. See these 1999 silver quarters? Of all of the state quarters that you've seen, of all of the state quarters in existence, the 1999 silvers are the single most valuable, the single most desirable, and the single most sought after. As a matter of fact, I have them here. And those are $75 a piece. Say that again. $75 a piece for those. So we have five of those at $75. That's $350. Now, the other ones, these are quite easy uh, to get. The 2000s, they're only $22.5 a piece. I'm sorry to have reacted that way, but I, I, I wanted to make sure. So we're about $450 for right yeah, there. And then the 2001 silver quarters, those are only uh, $47 a piece. So the quarters are about $700. The half dollars are about, actually, the quarters are more than that because I have the other seven here. So the quarters are about 800 bucks because there's so many more of them. So coin by coin, you're almost two grand here. Yeah, for sure. Okay, is what it comes down to. And by the way, the Roosevelt dimes, are not insignificant. And the other coins are, like I said, the, the Lincoln cents in here are, you know, $75, okay? The, the right. quarter, the, the dimes and, are, and, the, and the nickels are about $75, okay? So they're, they're a mere 150 I want to look at the Roosevelt dimes because they are, they're oftentimes overlooked. If we can just put the four-minute clock in on this, Pat, and I'll tell you why. This is not a quantity. I took me, I think the last time I aired this, it's brand new actually, because I usually have just do like the first, the, the black, but I don't usually add the 99, 2000, and okay. 2001. All right. And, and the reason is, is they're really hard to get and they add about $1,200 in value, <laughs> okay? But we're gonna go ahead and do that. I, I'm about to go under 100. So the Roosevelt dimes, this is interesting on here. So the 1992 Roosevelt dime in silver. Now you're going, okay, well that's not necessarily that big of a deal. The silvers, on the Roosevelt dimes, they don't even have the 92. The 93 is 21 bucks. The 94, uh, uh, 94 is 16.95. The 95 is 31 dollars for the dimes. These are the dimes, okay? The 96 is 20, uh, 26 dollars. The 97 is 35.50 for the 97 silver dime. The 98 is 16.95. The 99 is 15.95, and then all the rest of them are about 15.95. So on average, you're looking at for the dimes here are $200. So you're looking at you got to be well in excess of $2,000 on this thing, and I'm taking $50 off. So it's another opportunity for you to buy like a coin dealer. Now it's not only that, but it's significant insofar as it's the first 10 years, it's the first decade of the silver process because they didn't start making these until 1992. So we've got those right here, which are significant and important. I wanna show you something that's important, just to let you know. So they're going, well, you know, how about the new sets? What are the new sets worth? Uh, Pat pulled us up, I have a 2012. Look at that. Here's the 2012 silver proof set from the government, $469, that's for one set. That's for the 2012, folks. So I'm $69 for coins that are even older. And the 99 set's even, even better than the 2012 yeah. because it's got the first year of issue of the Silver State Quarters. The first year of issue of the Silver State Quarters. Like I said, that's a 75, 75. so that's 150, uh, that's 75, so that's 150, $375 yeah. for that. 375 for that. And like I said, this set's only uh, $46, so that's only another 225. So it's only $600 for those two right there, coin by coin. I mean, you know, so, so you understand what the incredible opportunity is. Okay, now we're down well under 100 sets. I had 115 sets exactly. Okay, you got about a minute and a half. You got an incredible opportunity. Once again, every quarter, every dime, every quarter, and every half dollar is done in silver. When the United States, and silver in proof, 
So when the United States government, once again, these are all original government packaging, and over there by Marlowe is all the boxes. So you get the boxes, and they are absolutely pristine. They are. There is the United States Mint seal. There it is, packaged by the United States Mint. So you get the intrinsic value, but it's not the intrinsic value. Let's face it, there's about 10 bucks worth of silver there, but the coin sells for $85. The reason is, is from 1992, this is the rarest Kennedy half dollar. From 1993, this is the rarest Kennedy half dollar. From 1994, this is the rarest, because the silvers are by far the rarest and most desirable of the Kennedy half dollars. Coin by coin, the Kennedy half dollars in this set are probably the better part of 900 bucks if you would try to buy them individually. That's the, and that's what people do. These primarily get broken for the, for the half dollars and the quarters. Okay. Do not underlie the fact that just the dimes are another 200 bucks, and they're just as valuable and just as desirable and just as collectible. So great opportunity for you, something I rarely do. Like I said, brand new, I usually just do the first seven years because this is, you know, before they go into these, but we've included the 99, the 2000, and the 2001 with a 15, so it's 21 additional silver coins to what I usually do. So we have 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 6, 9, 42 silver coins in this set. 42 silver coins in this set for only $699. Okay, with that, we are going to be wrapping up our presentation. Enjoy that spring pricing, meaning they're on sale. Um, just a few dozen remaining on this one, 535-352. Let us send this to you, let us know if you'd like to have it. Um, previously, if you missed it, Sorry. two dozen. Two dozen of the 50 years. That's it. That's it. At 154, I have 24 left. Yep. A lot of people still shopping for that one, by oh, the yeah. way. Mm -hmm. So definitely call at, or go onto our website, but let us know if you'd like us to send that one to you. Reminding you, we always give you a 30-day money-back guarantee, but this is our half century of our proof set. It's been very, very popular. And 128929 is the item number. So enjoy, and thank you so much for your calls there. We are about 24 minutes away from the top of the hour. Joy Mangano is going to be coming up at the top of the hour Grace. with Shannon. So they're going to be giving you a spectacular show. Joy has brought you us our today's special. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, we're going to continue to give you a look at some of our very best in coins. Well, this is kind of the guy. We're going to spend, we're going to spend some time here. Yes. Okay. This has been, since the beginning of the year, Dollar for dollar, pound for pound. Yep. The best selling coin we've had at HSN, bar none, for the last two months. And there's a reason for it. And as long as I can keep this price, it will continue to be exactly that. But I'm coming to the end of that. This is one of those, like I said, this is kind of a fall between the cracks coin. Here's what happened with this coin. The United States government last year was the 30th anniversary of the American Silver Eagle. The United States government is always celebrated the anniversaries of the American Silver Eagle. They did a special 10th anniversary coin, a 20th anniversary coin, a 25th anniversary coin, and now a 30th anniversary coin. For the first time, they actually stamped the coin itself with whatever anniversary it was. This is the 30th anniversary. This is the only 30th anniversary SP coin that the United States government has ever done that's stamped, you know, stamped edge letter. So it's edge letter. It's on the edge of it. They only made three silver eagles last year. They made a mint state, a proof, and a satin finish. This is the satin finish, okay? The satin finish coin that you see right here is the rarest of the three by far. And it bears the 30th anniversary edge lettering, okay? The only one that's ever been edge lettered. Now here's, here, here's, here's the part that's really important. It was released at the very end of the year. And what happened, the proof, which is also 30th anniversary and very rare, desirable, we had the two coins set in the last hour, uncertified and ungraded and sold hundreds of them. This is just the satin finish. It was released last. It was released in the late part of November. And what it meant was, is it got caught up in the holiday, in the business of the holiday. People are buying holiday gifts, they're getting ready for the 2017s. And so people just didn't buy this coin in 2016. They just didn't buy this coin in 2016 for whatever reason. Because of that, they created a numismatic rarity that is absolutely positively spectacular. It is one of the most unprecedented uh, numismatic rarities, I think, of the last 25 years, particularly when it comes time to talk about value, and that's what I'm about to do. So the United States government has made four anniversary silver eagles. 
They made a 10th anniversary, a 20th anniversary, a 25th anniversary, and they've made this coin, the 20, the 30th anniversary, which is edge lettered. This coin is certified absolutely perfect SP70. <clears throat> the 10th anniversary coin, which was just a proof coin with a W mint mark on it, in this condition, the last one I sold here at HSN was $30,000. $30,000. I didn't stutter. That's correct. They did then a 20th anniversary coin. They didn't put a special mint mark on it. They just did a what was called a reverse proof. Very cool. They made 250,000 of those coins. When we have them here in this condition, I sell them for $1,200. Then they did the 25th anniversary coin, just redid another reverse proof. Nowhere in the coin does it say 10th anniversary, 20th anniversary, 20th. You just had to know because it was unique to that year. The 25th anniversary coin, when we have it in this condition, is $1,500. And now we have the 30th anniversary coin. And it's stamped right on the coin, 30th anniversary. And I have it in perfect condition. Not for $30,000 or $1,000 or $1,500, but $149.95. For $149. Now, of course, we're a couple minutes into this, 120 are gone. I had this in first day of issue at the very same price for $149. We had $2,640. We sold them in a single day. Now, remember that $1,500, that, that $1,000 20th anniversary coin I was telling you about? That's $1,000 in this condition. This coin is rarer. There are fewer of these than there are of the 20th anniversary. As a matter of fact, it's right in between the 20th and 25th anniversary in terms of mintage. So if the one's 1,000, the other one's 1,500, if this one's right in between, it should be 1,250 bucks, but it's not, it's $149. And here's the reason it's $149. And folks, you need to get on the phone here pretty quickly because <clears throat> it's filling up very fast because that's exactly what's gonna happen. The reason I can do this, my original issue price when I came out was $149. When that 25th anniversary coin came out, I think it was $149. Okay, it's $1,500 today. I don't know if this coin's going to get to $1,500, but I mean, you know, I'm, I don't know if it is or it won't. All I can do is look at what's happened in the past. And as a trained numismatist who's been doing this for a quarter of a century, what I saw was a coin that was overlooked at the end of the year. And when they overlooked this coin, that created an opportunity for you, the collectors. So I look, I could have very easily, and so what I ended up doing is buying about 15% of the entire mintage of this coin. So they made 168,000 is the number they made in 2016. We bought about 25,000 coins, roughly, okay? We bought roughly 25,000 coins. And of course, not all of them came out to be SP70. And, and, and this is the price I charged when the original issue price came out. And so I was able to hold the price. I was able to hold your opportunity for right now. But understand, the key to this is right now, okay? Maybe seven minutes or so, something like that. Can we do, do I have enough quantity for that? Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. Because they're going so fast. <laughs> they're, they're just going so fast. Last time I aired this, I sold 1,500. I sold 1,500. I don't have 1,500 left. Okay. Oh, no. And understand, I had 25,000. I sent them all in. I'm getting... Now, <clears throat> here's the thing. This coin is so good. It's so rare. It's one of the anniversary coins. It's the only one stamped with the 30th anniversary or any anniversary ever edge letter. It's the only SP or satin finish American silver. Now, do not confuse this with a regular American silver eagle that we just kind of... Right. Stamp this thing on with a, with a little hammer today. This has got the West Point mint mark on it. This is a special presentation coin made by the United States government, folks. That is the key to this coin. We have got this coin. I will sell this coin for as long as I sell coins here. It is that significant and is that important. What I won't do is ever sell it for less than $149. And if it follows in the footsteps of, let's say, the 20th anniversary coin, which it's rarer than, I sold that one for, you know, 129, 149, 179, 199, 299, 399, 499, 899, 999, 1199, okay? That's what I anticipate doing. When I run out of the quantity that I have originally bought and purchased and been a part of right here, right now, when I run out of that quantity, then I've got to go into the secondary market, and obviously my price has to go up significantly. It is one of the most desirable and most significant coins put out by the United States Mint. Like I said, it's a 30th anniversary coin. The 30th anniversary is over. We're already right. into 2017. Right. 
All right, so that's gone. It was released at the very end of the year. That always creates a phenomenal collectible. That always creates this phenomenal collectible when it gets overlooked. But we knew that was going to happen, and we absolutely stocked this to the moon because I knew this would be a home run. I knew this would be absolutely incredible. Now, if I probably had a brain in my head, I would have just sit on them and charged all $179 or $199 <laughs> or $229 for them. <clears throat> but instead, one of the reasons I've been doing this for 25 years is it's about value. Right, I, I, I'm right, telling right. you a coin that everybody else overlooked. I'm telling you a coin that we took advantage of. And since I took advantage of it, now you can take advantage of it. <clears throat> you can have an absolutely unique coin. You can have an absolutely unique coin. The only coin, 2016, that, that any of the anniversary coins, uh, only the 30th anniversary coins were stamped on the edge. Only the 30th anniversary coins were edge lettered. The 25th anniversary coins, there's nothing on the coin itself that designates 25th anniversary. It's still 1500 bucks. On the 20th anniversary coin, there's nothing on the coin itself that designates it as 20th anniversary. Still $1,000. On the 10th anniversary coin, there's nothing on the coin itself that designates it as 10th anniversary. It's still $30,000. Those are the four anniversary American right. Silver Eagles. 10th, right. 20th, 25th, and 30th. And going in order, 30,000, 1,000, 1,500, 149. So that is what your opportunity is. And as you can see, these are going rapidly. These are going quickly. Every single phone line going right now. And so because of that, I would absolutely suggest hsn.com. Absolutely. And that's going to be the fastest way to shop. Or if you have downloaded the app to your mobile phone or tablets, you can certainly shop that way as well. Enjoy the FlexPay. And I've got to mention that to you because in tonight's show, we've had a generous amount of flex pay. That means to get this coin delivered, you're less than $50 plus tax. So you can certainly buy more than one. We haven't mentioned that the wooden box does come with it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about that $14.95? Right. That does come along you're with welcome. it. You're welcome. Yeah, absolutely. I think I bought this. You oh, bought this? Yeah, about two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago you yep. bought this. I got mm -hmm. this one too. I pay attention. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. We've sold... This is a, and, and I'm new to this whole coin collecting, but I've learned to ver listen very carefully. I also, you know, your passion about the coins as well. So, well, and, and this is one of those coins. Look, I said, I've been doing this a very, very long time, okay? And like you said, the history on this the, one. The history on this coin is significant. And, I, and I, I really think I know the things that make coins important. And this is one of those coins, I understand what makes this coin important. First of all, tremendously underproduced. Tremendously underproduced because it was released in November, okay? So they're not making these coins anymore. They're never going to make any more of these coins. They're done, okay? They're done. So it's underproduced. It is overlooked because, they, like I said, end of the year, they're looking at, you know, they're looking at the, gold, uh, the gold walking liberties. Everybody was focused on the new 2017s. So overlooked, underproduced, overlooked, underappreciated, and most importantly, undervalued. Because I remember I was here selling the 20th anniversary coin 10 years ago. I was here selling that coin. I sold that coin for 99 bucks. Wow. Okay, well, silver was a lot less money, so the government yeah. charged a lot less. So 99 bucks. I was here three years ago selling that coin for a thousand bucks, okay? <laughs> I was here for the 25th anniversary, right here, and I was sitting here and I was selling it for $129 or $139 or whatever it was, and I've been here two years ago selling it for $1,500. I've been through all of that, folks. So I know what makes a great collectible, and this thing hits all of those, ticks all those boxes. Under, underappreciated, undervalued, overlooked, underproduced, you know, boom, 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 boom. Do I collect this? Yes, 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 right. yes, yes, is ultimately what it comes down to. So now as you're looking at this right now, and I know we have a little clock there, perhaps we can have an extra minute or two there, Pat, I think that's awesome. possible. Because uh, uh, I've got almost 500 of these I sold. I know. And understand, well over 500. Somebody, it looks like somebody just literally bought 20. And, and, and I understand that. Look, folks, it's not that often that you come up in numismatics and you find something that is, that, that's just that perfect thing, where it gets you all that thing. Look, it's an ounce of silver, that's great, but look, it wasn't that long ago, the silver in it was 50 bucks. You get the Red Oak presentation box, that's 15 bucks. 
Like I said, you get one of the rarest SP or satin finish eagles that have been made doing these since the 10th anniversary of the satin eagle, and the only one that's edge lettered of any kind. Of all of the anniversary coins, it's the only one that is actually marked for the anniversary. The other four eagles, this one's 149, are in order, $149, 150 bucks. $1,500, $1,000 or $30,000. So of the four eagles in perfect condition, it's the only one that I can sell you for less than $1,000 in perfect 70 condition, okay, for the, for the SP. So you know, it's absolutely critical for you to understand that. And that's why we've got 500, 550. Uh, these are going extremely quickly, extraordinarily quickly. Folks, this is something you have to get, uh, uh, take advantage of. You have to take the opportunity of this. Well, I still have it at my original issue price. At my original issue price. A unique opportunity, hundreds and hundreds of people on the phone. I think I'll sell the better part of half of everything I have left in this. So, uh, so is this the end, of, is this? Well, I think so. I mean, you know, I'm out there hunting for these things, I, I mean, at this point. So we're doing our very best. Look, I'm going to always have this coin. I'll never have it for less, right. and I can guarantee I'll have it for more in the future, okay? <laughs> at some point in the future, That's I'm going to be selling this That's for way more money. That's a guarantee. Well, Absolute guarantee. That's all I and need to hear. We just blew hear. through 600 of these sold, as yeah. you can see right there. Get yours while you can. So, so get it at home, for sure. Um, you know, th we're, they're telling me to wrap it up. Stay on the phone lines for this one. Over 600 gone, just in this co coin. Um, we've got some fantastic values coming up next. I hope that you stick around. Here's Adam to tell us about the Monday Night Show. You never know what we're gonna do on the Monday Night Show, but here's a sneak peek. There'll be more than a few surprises. Get set, match. Adam Freeman is the winner. I've never won anything. <laughs> and weekly guest challenges. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget about the great products. Tune in 7 p.m. on Monday or visit hsn.com and search Monday Night Show for more. I'm Joy. I'm a mother. That's first and foremost. I'm curious, always curious. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, and I'm an inventor. So when I'm designing product, it's all about making everyday life simpler. I guess that's just how I look at things. I find a lot of inspiration from just living my everyday life. And I think, boy, every day's a gift. Make joyful discoveries every day. Thank you once again for being here at HSN. I want to remind everybody, Joy Mangano coming up at the top of the next hour with Shannon Smith. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. She's had an incredible day with a fantastic Today's Special and a lot of great things that you haven't seen all day. Mike Mizak, of course, our resident coin expert. He's a numismatist. And this is something that we just launched uh, just in January. Been very, very exciting and really a unique opportunity. Already have 300 people in the program. Wow. Already have 300 people. In the program. Let awesome. me explain to you what this is. The American Silver Eagle, since it was uh, uh, since 1986, the Liberty Coin Act was signed into law by President Ronald Reagan. The United States American Silver Eagle has become the single most collectible coin on the face of the uh, uh, silver coin on the face of the planet. When it was first released in 1986, it was literally just kind of a bullion coin. In other words, just like a silver bar. It has subsequently become one of the great collectible coins in existence today. What I have here is your opportunity with one phone call to get every single American Silver Eagle in what we call Min State 69. We grade on a 70 point scale. I've had people call in to say, so why aren't you offering Min State 70s? First of all, I haven't seen a PCGS 70 set in years. And if I did, I'd have to be, I don't know, $150,000 or something like that. I don't know. There's only three or four of them in existence. Min State 69 is the next one down. So they made on average, okay, they made on average, oh, I think, um, I would call it 10 million American Silver Eagles. If you look at the population report of PCGS, there's less than 5,000 of these sets in existence, total, in all the PCGS. But we're doing something else. These are already starting to sell very quickly. Oh, yeah. And here's, here's what the situation is. I am here to debut for you in this set, something that is available no place else on the planet something that is a brand new frontier in American collecting. We are taking the PCGS Mint State 69, probably the most popularly collected American Silver Eagle.
And what we've done is we have the unique and exclusive green gasket. So these coins are held into place by a gasket, a plastic a piece of plastic to not hurt the coin. We did them in green. No place else can you do the green gasket. And that's collectible and desirable and people want that as well, right? So we have the green gasket. And the reason we use green is, is these coins come in what we call monster boxes, boxes of 500 coins. And this is one of them. The United States Mint, this is a green monster box that we, and it holds 500 ounces of silver. And they've done this since 1986. Here's what we've done. Here's what we've done, is this is the box you keep your collection in. So here's what you do. You get the 2017 for $99.95. Exclusive dust, you can't buy the holder, you can't buy the gasket, you can't buy this anywhere else, okay? You get every other American Silver Eagle one a month for $99.95. Right. Including the 96, which you couldn't touch in this thing. You know, three, four, five hundred dollars Who knows for the 1996 in this? And they come in the green PCGS boxes. They stopped making these about four years ago. We had a, we had a stash of these. It comes and your boxes go in the green monster boxes. Nobody else does that either. So you get the green monster box with the green PCGS boxes. This box comes to you with your first auto ship. So you get the 19, 2017, 99 bucks. Your next one comes with the monster box and the PCGS. These old PCGS boxes sell for 20, 30 bucks. So that's, that's cool, that's exciting, I really like that, okay? So you're gonna get the green monster box, you get all that, I'm gonna go ahead and put those in there and hope they don't fall over. But here's the other part of it, okay? Here's the other part of it. One of the big things that's a concern out there, we have the only green gasket, we have the green monster box label you have here, direct from United States Mint boxes, all that stuff. It actually says that on the labels, direct from US Mint boxes. But here's the cool part. You're also going to get with that, this little counterfeit detector that you can check pen, uh, check $100 bills if you want. But this is the important part, you get the UV light. Because this is also the debut of this. As the third level of counterfeit detection, you put the UV Neat. light on there and check that out. Look you at get that. to see the Silver Eagle. See what that does? It gives you the Silver Eagle and it has the Eagle in that right there. See, isn't that fantastic? So you show that with the uh, uh, with the UV light, so you can double check all of your holders with UV light, That's so neat. that you have got the special collectible label on every single one of these, also exclusive to us. Can I chime in just for a moment to explain to everybody about the auto ship? So auto ship secures this price forever. And you have, uh, out of everything, I mean, we offer a lot of auto ship on different products, like beauty products and a variety of other choices. Believe it or not, in coins, um, more people stay on auto ship for a longer period of time than any other category here at HSN. Among <laughs> I have people, I'm sorry to interrupt No, you, no, no, go ahead. I have people that have signed up an auto ship here for the state quarter program in 1999. Wow. Well, they're still getting the America the Beautiful quarters here. They've been in our coin auto ship for that for 17 years. That's yeah, incredible. For 17 years, because you want to get all of them. Right. This is, now this is over in 30 months. Now, uh, there's a, can we show you the, uh, 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 I have a number. For those of you that just can't wait, if you have no ability to delay like, I gratification. I want them all. And you want them all, I have complete sets. You can buy the entire set, it's the same exact price, basically. 3190 because there's 32 coins. You get $3,199.95. You just get them all. You get the box. You get the pen. You get uh, 80, 1986 through 2017. And if you don't do it that way and you want to get it one per month, folks, you get right. every coin, 86, 87, 88. Understand, everything prior to 2008 is rarer. It's more desirable. You have the green gasket. You've got the green monster box. Nowhere else on the planet can you buy this set. It is absolutely unique to us here at HSN. It's got the triple protected PCGS. It's got the green gasket. It's got the tamper evident hologram. It's got the UV light. It's got all, all of that stuff is available. Of course, like any of the auto ships, right. you can cancel at any time. No you penalty. can return it within, that's right. You can return yeah. it within their term. But here's the thing, only, we only allow a certain number of people in the auto ship. That's right, because we only do 500, already 300 are gone. Right, It's because it's a commitment on our part as well, and the price can never change. So mm. it's a real opportunity for you. Yeah, I, I, what I want to do is, so this is the, the mint state. Yep. Can I show, maybe if we could just show the uh, still, uh, still on that or something. I have a limited number of the same thing right here in NGC in proof. I have a complete proof American Silver Eagle set. 
So if you want to do the proofs in PF69, and those come in the Red Oak presentation box, I That's have great. those. So you get two coins. You get the 2000 and the 2016. Okay, those are $159.95. I'll talk to your operators. They can get, get you that information as well. Uh, you get two coins uh, in that one to start with uh, uh, the, the thing. So, but back to this, because we're, we're about to, just about to sell these out. We've got less than a minute left in the show. $99 a coin. Remember the 86, the 87, 88, 89, 90. All of them, all of them available exclusively from us here at HSN. Now is the time. Here is the place. One call. You get the most limited and unique, complete collection of American silver eagles that have ever been offered, including the box. The UV light, the triple uh, counterfeit detection, American Silver Eagles, you have all of that, folks, get in now. Because once this sells out, once we get 500 people in there, we have less than 200 of these remaining. Yep. That's it. Thank you so much Pleasure. for being here. Don't forget you can always go on to hsn.com to learn more. But stay where you are. Two of my favorite people in the world coming up. Joy Mangano, Shannon Smith for the big grand finale. Here they are, everybody. Have fun. It's important for me.